It's been a minute since we last talked. I've gotten married, I have a house, I have a dog, hi. It's a Tuesday and it's like 3 p.m., which might be a strange time to start a vlog, but we're just gonna go through the rest of the week. My husband's out of town for work this week, so I like the perfect time to devote to getting back into YouTube. Let's start with meeting Albert. This is Albert. Say hi. There we go. This is Albert. Hi, baby. He's almost six months old. He's a Shih Tzu. He was a breeder released to a rescue near me, and I love him. I got him almost two months ago. Albert, look at that hot dog toy. I just got him that today. <laughs> My living room is full of dog toys. I try to put them away, but he gets them back out, so. He likes to be surrounded by them. My hair is definitely out to play right now. I need to go blow dry it. I'm doing some laundry. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the 75 card style challenge on TikTok, which is just like, you get dressed for 75 days in a row. I don't think I've ever done anything for 75 days in a row. I'm gonna go ahead and probably nix that because, anyway, I just got a package, one sec. All right, I actually have quite the haul to share. Package from Milk Makeup, package from Penny Lynn Designs. This is, I'm really excited about this. Let's get into this. This is Needlepoint stuff. The owner of Penny Lynn, Krista. I followed her forever and she's followed me. I posted multiple times over the last year that I wanted to start doing Needlepoint, but I haven't like taken the jump. So I told her a few things I liked. Um, I just got a new car recently. So I was like, okay, I want a keychain. Let's do a keychain. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look how cute this bag is. The stitches bag. They have a bunch of different colors of these. I told her I liked this or the green, I think is what I said. And I was like, I really can't decide. So you just pick for me. This is the canvas for my keychain. So this will get, you take it somewhere to get finished. I know there's a place in St. Louis, Needlepoint Clubhouse, and they will, I don't know if it'll be like one long keychain or if it'll be a fold over. I, I don't know, don't really care. It's fine either way. So they have everything in here that I'll need. This is so cute, look at these. Little like, oh shoot. Look at these scissors, bamboo mini scissors. And this is nice because you can travel with them. The needle minder is this little uh, ginger jar that says needle point on it. Thank you guys, Penny Lynn, I'm very excited. She has been posting a ton of needle point instructional videos. I've been saving every single one and watching them at night. <laughs> um, I like see them come up and I'll save them and make sure to watch them before bed. Try to really get the information to uh, process in my brain. There's a place in St. Louis that does classes, which I might try and take one, but I don't know, I'm like, I'll probably figure this out. I will link her stuff in the description. All right, from Milk, we have two lip and cheek sticks, which I'm really excited to try these. The Kush Mascara and Hydro Grip Primer. This is nice because it's a big size and I had the travel size in the past. Anyway, glad to level up. They also sent me the refresh and setting spray, but I think it froze because it was exploded everywhere. So, <laughs> whoops, it's been really freaking cold here though. So, understandable, unfortunate though. Last but not least, I also have my Rent the Runway. I have been going strong with Rent the Runway because I keep forgetting to cancel or like pause my membership because <laughs> I like don't have anything going on. And then I'm like, well, you're gonna find something. So I only got, what, four things in this shipment. Usually it's five with the membership that I have. Um, we've worked together in the past, but I don't have a code anymore. My friend has a code though, I'll put it on the screen. So anyway, I kept one item for my last shipment. Okay, this sweater is from The Great, and I've been seeing a ton of their fleece half zips all over. Also, I have a pair of shoes I ordered on Poshmark that aren't in yet, but they will match. Honestly, I have a little bit of beef. Not with Rent the Runway, but with Rent the Runway shoppers. Maybe it is with Rent the Runway, I don't know who to blame. This isn't wool, but I feel like every time I'll order something and it's a wool sweater, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great. Can't wait to, you know, nice quality, whatever and it's shrunk. I'm like, so are we washing this stuff and drying it? Like, what are we doing, guys? Please do not wash and dry. I don't care what you do with your own wool stuff, but don't do it on Run the Runway. I do not need the sleeves to be up to here. Anyway, I miss YouTube. I feel like I can like, get my own thoughts out better. I also feel like I knew, like, the people watching my videos, I knew more about them and kind of what, I don't know, there was more rapport. Maybe I was in a very social relationship with my viewers. I'm not really sure but I miss this. Donnie is the brand on this. I rented like 400 things from them. This is like a chocolate brown fleece jacket. Kind of reminds me of the Totem just cause of the like whip stitch detail. I don't know, this looks comfy and cute and cozy. And it's actually freezing outside and there's no sign of warmth. So I thought this would be nice. Just kind of lounge into it. I got some brown leggings from Aerie. I wonder if they will match this. Ralph Lauren navy blue satin maxi skirt. This is cute. I always sort my Run the Runway by most recent like so I can see what's newly added. This was new. I don't know, I like it because it's maxi. Anything that I have that's midi length, I think needs to go away. I was gonna say it needs to be burned, but that's not true. It just needs to find a new home. Midi does not look good on me. Like I'm too tall and you know they say it's supposed to be flattering because it exposes the skinniest part of a woman's body, which is their ankle. Hey babe, 
not on me it's not i have thick ankles it doesn't look good and i'm pale okay so like, my legs need to be hidden that's just the truth of the matter i can't fake tan i get a rash we don't need to get into it i figured maybe i could just be practical about this and i hate every pair of jeans i ever owned except for one you know how it is so i'm like let's try to get a goldie low slung baggy jeans i figure we'll see how they go oh my god albert <laughs> He's jumping up. You can't see him. If I don't go dry my hair right now, this is how it's going to freaking dry and this is how it's going to look. Come here. I used to do a hair tutorial too, but that's got to be its own video, honest to God. Um, mainly because I don't have a memory card with enough storage on it right now. Say hi. Say hi. And I need a haircut, TBH. Like, really bad. Takes my little outboard. He really is good, guys. I mean, for a six-month-old puppy, the best guy in the world. The best guy in the world. He's a little monkey. He's my little monkey. Everybody on TikTok is so funny. I started a list in my notes app of all of the creatures and characters that people say he looks like, and they're all so good. Oh my god, my favorite. I mean, I think he looks like a gremlin, like Gizmo. Yeah. Someone said uh, Jack Black. That one had me and Jake pretty weak. Oh, yes, my monkey. <gasps> Anyway, I already did my chores for the day. I had to go to Dollar General and the post office. I'm trying not to buy like essentials on Amazon because I'm lazy and I'm like, oh, I should get the toilet paper sent to me. When I do that, it costs like $4 million extra and I can just go to Dollar General. It's just honestly extremely lazy behavior on my part. How freaking funny is this? I just got this today. There's like a fanciful pet store in my area. I needed to go get him food. He ran out and I've been feeding him what the rescue is feeding him. Nutrisource, small and medium breed puppy food. So I just stuck with it because I don't want to risk changing it and him having like a freaking blowout or something. So anyway, I thought I had to order this online and I ran out to this morning. It's zero degrees and snowing. I'm like, I'm literally an idiot, like actually dumb. Looked up online that, that store. They said they carried that brand, found it. I just posted on my Instagram a picture of my vlogging camera and I'm like, I kind of miss YouTube. I might hop back on the platform. Basically begging for somebody to be like, yes, make a video and it's just dead silence. I mean dead silence y'all it's okay i don't know are people watching vlogs again i am well i just listen to them mostly you know in the background i don't know i'm not i'm not in new york city so that's why i'm like nobody wants to watch you live in suburban illinois but maybe that is true <laughs> and what am i gonna do you know i just did my hair it's honestly like i said way too freaking long and i need a haircut but it looks <laughs> a lot better than whatever was going on about 30 minutes ago i didn't really put anything in it though i just did like a normal basic blowout with a the round brush on the air wrap. Ignore that red tool up there. I borrowed it from a lady in the garden club and I forgot to give it back and I just realized that I found it the other day and now it's past Christmas. It's Christmas stuff. Anyway, I broke my air wrap, I think. I can figure out how to fix it. This part came off in the air wrap. I dropped it and it's supposed to be in the bottom of this. So, hang on. It was just too hot to try to snap it back in there a second ago. Okay, um, oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Y'all need a handy woman. I fixed it. No problem. I was about to show you the state of my closet, like the floor, but I'm not going to. <laughs> it's actually a bedroom, but I'm making it into a closet for myself, like a dressing room, vanities in there, that kind of vibe. But it's so unbelievably messy and not done and I'm doing it slowly. I'm assembling every piece by myself. It's I'm using Ikea stuff, but I'm assembling it by myself. So that's, I'm going one at a time, okay? be he came to join me it's my monkey y'all see that little house back there i got him that from pottery barn i got it from the outlet he's scared to go in there yeah my little scaredy cat it's okay all right okay i tried on this donnie sweater big fan of it i'm gonna be completely honest with you i'm wearing it tomorrow for sure and who knows how many days after that so don't judge me and i just got this headband in from amazon i've been looking at the girlies with the thick elastic headbands and i've been thinking about it but i'm like probably not for me but anyway uh j crew turtleneck and then i'm wearing just these random brown airy leggings um which i thought were gonna match perfectly and they don't so i don't love that i think tomorrow though i might wear this either this turtleneck or like a lighter tone one that matches the headband better and lighter um like an ecru cream color pair of jeans. I think that would be cute. I am on my period though. Okay, should I use Quickie or Work? Let's try Work. And if we like it, we like it. And if we want to add the other one on top, we can. Cute. 
The lighting is weird because I'm not facing the window, but when I try to face the window, it's super blue. Sun setting and it's really bright outside. The sky is super clear, which is my favorite kind of winter day, but I usually love a raspberry color, so whether it's the best for my skin or not, I don't know, but I like it. Whatever, we're just gonna be blushed up. I have some editing to do. I'm like dreading it, I don't know why. Honestly, I do know why. It's because it's a bunch of footage and I mess. Guys, when I do house stuff, it's never like, oh, let me start this project and it just goes like according to plan and I'm like, that's how I did it. It's always like I learn three to four valuable lessons during it, things go awry, I break something, I start crying, I have to go to the store like, shit. So it's like I almost can never come through with a, a solid tutorial because I don't really even know what to do myself. And by the end of it, I've usually learned that my method was not the right method. This is for anything home related. Cause I'm DIYing. Oh, I'll be hungry. <laughs> I keep my dog food in this container that I found at Home Goods because we have been known to have a mouse. So this lives up elevated in my pantry. So even if they did get into my pantry, they still probably couldn't get into this. We're gonna hope they don't get into my pantry. You ready for your dinner? I keep it in the bag in here, which like kind of makes it a little bit of a mess, but. I think it's better than pouring it all into here. It's something about like the plastic getting into it and also like it staying fresher in here or maybe I made that up. I don't know. I got a potato today when I was at Dollar General because I was like, oh, I'll make a baked potato. But then one of my friends was Snapchatting me that she made a baked potato, but she followed Wishbone Kitchen's recipe and baked it for two hours. And I'm like, damn, I know that's good. But I'm kind of hungry right now. I had Taco Bell earlier, but like, that was like 11. And I took an everything shower since then, so you already know I worked up a freaking sweat. So I'm thinking shells and cheese. Jake's out of town. I just wanna eat something stupid. And on the topic of just eating random stuff, because I'm not about to sit here and say girl dinner, but like, you know what I mean. Like just eating what you need to eat to survive. For dinner last night, I had half a can of lima beans, half a can of peas. And here's a secret. Since the last time we talked, I've been eating meat more. Um, still not like a, super staple, but I made a breakfast sausage. Like I cut it, or like I smashed it up into it. So I had peas and lima beans and sausage in a bowl with Parmesan cheese on top. Really can't tell me shit, it was good. Um, but yeah, I used to be vegetarian for like seven years. Um, and then one day I was like, yeah, I really wanna eat a salami sandwich. Oh, he's thirsty. And then I did, and I was like, that's really good. But that's really it. I'm still really freaked out about chicken. I don't eat a ton of meat. I eat tuna. I'll eat a salami sandwich. If Jake's grilling, I'll have a burger. I don't get meat from Taco Bell still. I just, you know, we're at a delightful restaurant. He gets a steak, I'll eat some. Or I eat um, salmon and various fish. I'm dabbling. I went to the post office and I dropped the shit out of my phone and I cracked the glass around the cameras, but not the cameras, so we're chilling. That's just typical. I wonder if, is this phone glass or is this, I don't know. Oh yeah, mm, right, oh, okay, so, so I actually went ahead and just, what I did was a little different, I just went ahead and cracked the whole phone, okay, yeah, save yourself the trouble, just crack the whole fucking thing, right on, right on, I really don't care, um, my front screen didn't break, so I'm chilling, I'm kind of thinking about trying to get like a refurbished laptop or something, because my laptop is, I think, from 2015, it's low-key, and explosive like it's it and the charger paired together some of the hottest temperatures i've ever encountered <laughs> i use it i factory reset it because it was just the shit was full okay you can't tell me this is not bomb every once in a while and this is the duality of man right here we got the kombucha on deck this is such a soothing snow day meal just went outside with albert he did his business like i said we're going on like two months and i don't want to jinx myself but or two months of having him he's almost six months old potty training is kind of i think we're seeing some advancements i really do it's been a journey for the first probably month i had a note in my notes app with every time of every day that he had an accident inside that he ate and that we went outside. I tried to take him out every one to two hours at that point. It's weird because he wasn't like a baby baby. I didn't know his schedule. He didn't really know the vibes, whatever. And I was insane about it. And I would write where in the house he had the accident. I would write where he went to the bathroom outside. Cause I was like, y'all, this is so embarrassing. He's like actually a dog. And like people have kids. I don't know how they have kids because like this was like, I was exhausted. Like I was like so scared. I wouldn't take my eyes off of him. It's not even any other reason. He hasn't had like a big furniture chewing issue. He's been on the legs of some stuff a couple times, but like I was just so scared that he was gonna potty in the house and I did not want that to become a habit. I think we're doing good. Like he's even cried to let me know he wanted to go out a couple times, which that's an advancement too. I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos, working on my keychain. So I've gotten the back 
green filled in on this chunk. I'm not doing it right. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It looks right from the front, but uh, y'all, the back, something ain't right. I'm doing something wrong. Some you win, some you lose. I think it looks fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm just anxious about whenever I take it to people to have it finished and they see whatever nonsense I've been doing, they're gonna be like, what type of stitch did you make up? Like, I think I did three kinds of stitches. Two of them are made up. And I did that all in about that biggest space. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my God, I wanna squeeze you. Sorry, baby. Oh my God, he's literally the best. snob i have like 400 pairs okay not 400 let's be for real i have a few pairs of lake pajamas that i love i love lake they're pima cotton i never sweat they wash great they're soft i love them but my mom got these for me for christmas from kohl's and they're just too cute so i had to show you she got a really cute pair too but these are the brunch pair this is like a totally like a poly not like the breathable pima ones but I've been wearing them and in the winter when it's so freaking cold, sometimes it's nice to have a little polyester, keep the heat in. <laughs> Breakfast for Ellie. What are we gonna do about the fact that he now knows how to get on the banquette? What are you doing? Sat on the computer all day today. Editing, posted a TikTok, replied to some emails. I ate Amy's soup for lunch and Amy's meal for dinner. I went over to uh, my mom's house, AKA the house that I grew up in, which y'all might remember from my old vlogs and TikToks. And I took Albert and he played with Hugo. We watched Love is Blind Sweden. I'm mad because I have to wait for new episodes to come out. And I would be excited because the Southern Charm finale is tomorrow, but Jake wants me to wait, watch it with him on Friday when he gets back because he has been watching Southern Charm with me. So I'll be waiting. Anyway, I'm wearing my lake jammies tonight. This is a Christmas pattern. <laughs> Ignore my pile of clothes back there. It's an ordeal, okay? I can't put them on the floor like I want to because of Albert. <laughs> and I don't want to walk to my other room and put them in my laundry basket because my laundry basket's full. Anyway, I might do a couple needle point stitches. That's a sock. <laughs> the toy's everywhere. I already made my coffee. Hi, Albert. Howdy, everybody. It's Thursday. I unloaded the dishwasher, started some laundry, tidied up a little bit. I should do more. Let's get it going. I've been listening to Inya and Drew on Tiny Meat Gang. I saw a little clip on TikTok this morning that they were on there, so that's been my background noise this morning, which has definitely been high vibrational manifestation morning with them in the background. <laughs> I didn't wash my face last night before bed. I didn't have anything on it, so I was like, I'm gonna wash my face now so that I stop feeling crusty. I never use these, but I have them my drawer and I freaking hate my wrist get wet. I don't want water down my sleeves. That's like the gnarliest feeling in the world. I don't know the last time, if ever, I've talked about my skincare, so we'll do that in my everyday makeup right now. This is the Anua Heartleaf Cleansing Oil. I got this on Amazon. I used to love cleansing oils. I also like cleansing balms, but anyway. I hadn't used one in a long time. I couldn't remember. I used to use one in college, but I can't remember what it was. I saw this one on TikTok, so I was like, okay, period. We'll just order it on Amazon. It's like 12 bucks. And I also will say, I never used to just use oil cleanser like on clean skin. I would use it if I had makeup on, but never just as my first step. And I've been doing that with this and loving it. And I spent some time, like I really work on my nose and this has helped my forehead stay relatively bump free. If you know me, I, I've been a bumpy forehead girl in the past. And I also feel like this helps my nose area be smooth. I've always been kind of crusty. I just think I wasn't doing the right cleanser. So I really just indulge myself with this one. Okay, then wet your hands. With wet hands, go back in and you'll see it kind of, or maybe you won't. <laughs> Well, it emulsifies. It's turning white a little bit. This is another thing I have to have. If I don't have a washcloth to wash my face, I mean, it'll upset me for days. Like if I'm at a friend's house and they don't have a washcloth I can use, I'm gonna panic. I go in and I'll be honest, I am a little bit rough around my nose, especially because this is like my exfoliant, you know what I mean? Because I don't exfoliate all that often. Sometimes I do during my like everything shower if I'm feeling it for my face, but I kind of want to keep these as my ugly makeup towels because I've got makeup all over them um, and then get some fresh white towels that, that don't get the makeup treatment. Especially for like when my friends come over if they wanna use a washcloth for anything, I don't wanna give them one of these dirty ones. Next up is regular cleanser or like water-based cleanser. Um, you have to do this after oil to ensure that you get it all off. So is the Vanna Cream. I, this is my second or third container of this I've bought. I tried using Cetaphil or CeraVe, but I just don't like them as much. This one, I never have any issues with. Like this get feeling good 
and I'll switch it up and I'm like, well, maybe it wasn't the cleanser that caused it. And then I'll go back to this cleanser and my skin's good again. And I'm like, okay, period. Again, wet hands. I'm gonna wet a new section of my washcloth. And I would just like to say that the people who are saying you need to buy a whole box of like glorified paper towels to dry your face and stuff, I mean, get a grip. Get a grip. The biggest of grips, get one. Now I'm cleaning, just ignore the hole in the wall. I put that there when I was trying to hang those hooks up myself. They're up, aren't they? Okay, so now I alternate. I don't really notice like a terribly huge difference between these products, so I alternate. I might use this Merit Serum or I might use this Clarins Serum. I'm gonna use the Clarins one today. I'm pretty sure that the purpose of this is like a even tone and texture. It's super light, like it's not a thick serum. Which honestly, I usually like a thick serum. Pat this one, try not to forget my neck. I had some stuff sent to me by La Occitane, that's how you say it. This is just like a moisturizer type of thing. I'm pretty sure. I feel fine. It's a really light, thin lotion and I like the smell of it. So my like actual for real moisturizer is the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. I don't like this one as much as I like the CeraVe, but I can never remember which one I freaking like when I'm at the store. So I buy the big ass containers. Next time around, I might try the Vanna Cream, whatever they're equivalent is. My final step is this Lark facial oil. So this is custom for me. I went to an event in St. Louis. This, they're based out of St. Louis. They custom made this for me. We talked about what I wanted, what my goals were for my skin. I put about three pumps in my hands and press it in. They told me to use it after my moisturizer. So I learned this keeps your liquids locked in. And I like how this smells too. It's like, I don't know, some type of tea. Basically, it would just be a facial oil that works for you. But I have been really liking this stuff. You can see. All right, my camera battery just died and I had to go get my other one. When I walked out there, Albert was laying in his bed like such a good little boy. I wish he would be like that all the time, but I see little glimmers of hope. I'm gonna move that because that's atrocious looking. I'm gonna do my makeup in here because I feel like it. So let me go grab that. Okay, I just forgot to turn my camera on while I put my eye cream on. This is from In Beauty. It's their bright and tight eye cream. Um, I really like this stuff because it doesn't pill up and it feels really good and moisturizing under my eyes. I've been using this for like a month and a half now and I've really been enjoying it, but I haven't really thought twice about it. And I found one of my old eye creams, tried it, and it was like pilling up whenever I put my makeup on. And I'm like, you know, this has been good because it's been working and I feel good and moisturized, but I don't think about it again. And I'm like, you know, that's a good thing. I don't think you really want to be thinking about your products like that because that means they're fucking up. So as if I wasn't giving glazed enough already, I really like to use a super glowy sunscreen. This is from Hawaiian Tropic and I'm almost out. I have another bottle of this though, which is also almost out. But anyway, I don't know if this is good for your face or not, but it works for me. I haven't had any issues with it. It smells delicious to me um, and it really reminds me of summer. So now this stuff is like the actual key to glow. So not only am I a fan of this because it smells good and it feels good, but like I'm using sunscreen every day because I like how glowy it makes me. As if there wasn't enough. This is Merit's Day Glow. I just ordered the Kava color, which I wanted to go out and buy in store, but they were sold out. Bounce is the color. Do they still make this color? This is the only color that was in stock in Sephora whenever I bought it. And it was a summer wedding and I really wanted to get extremely glowy. So I was like, whatever, we're gonna buy it. And it's been working fine. But this stuff is like, like literally wet. Like, <laughs> like it's a stick of wet. Like you're not glittery. I also really like Tarte's um, glow tape, but this one, I mean, this is good. I like Merit. They did not pay me. I have made no money off my affiliate links. I'm going to link it affiliately, but I, I just really do like it. Did I use my Merit bag to walk in here with my, do a little road trip from my dressing room to in here with my makeup? Yes. I think if you spend 40 bucks, you get this. I don't know if it's the exact bag or if they change it, whatever. I'm gonna use the complexion stick. I left the brush, hang on. So I have this in the color silk, which is pretty light. I never know, there we go. I never know which side <laughs> is the stick and which side is the twisty part. So sometimes I'll put this directly on my face. Sometimes I put it on the brush, which I just put it on the brush right now. So for me, my like red areas around my nose and my nose itself, which I hate putting foundation on my nose. It never goes well. But look, if I make sure I get myself, this stuff is good in general, but once I make sure that my skin is super prepped too, this plus the skin prep, I'm good. Okay, there's a hair on my face. Do you see that? I'm just gonna do like half my face with this so you can see. I don't really worry about over here, but you know, whatever's on my brush can go over there. This has been the only like consistent foundation I've been using. I honestly hate foundation. I hate how it looks on my skin. I've been using concealer all over my face. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. It looks a little bit busted on camera from here. Evens me out and I don't know, I guess neutralizes things, but it doesn't form a mask. It doesn't cover like freckles or even redness fully, which I guess would be a problem for some people, but for me, I always feel like I look a little embalmed when things are fully covered, so. Tarte blush tape, this is the freaking bomb because of the glow, why I love this stuff so much, but I did just get that milk, cheek and lip, whatever. I'm gonna use this, how do you, does it move? 
Okay, yeah, it, it pushes up, okay. I'm gonna use this and then I might layer this on for glow. This is the color work. I just use this random brush for my blush always. It's from Walgreens, I think, years ago. I like that color on me a lot. Yeah, the only thing that it doesn't give that I like to have is like a ton of glow. This would be a good spot for Tarte's glow tape just to put it on like your cheekbones for a little bit of glow, but I'm just gonna use the blush. But do you see how it just like looks like your face is wet? I'm almost out of this. It's the Radiant Shape Tape. <laughs> I never liked shape tape, but I like the radiant one. And I just do a little bit under my eyes. Kate Cosmetics Airbrush Concealer Brush. This just keeps my under eyes from looking super cakey. And I take like the babiest bit of the Kosas Cloud Set. One thing I am in the market for is a cream bronzer. This is from Revolution Beauty. I like it fine. It's a little warm and like orangey, uh, which is understandable because it is bronzer. I don't even know if the color is what I have a problem with or if it's the fact that I broke the lid off. So it's a freaking mess everywhere I put it. And if I travel, I have to wrap it up in a paper towel. Sometimes I'll use a little bit this um it's shadow stick a cosmetic shadow stick not like it's you know whatever just in my inner corners i love inner corner highlight always sometimes i just did that have a hair attached to it when i showed you okay and i didn't bring any eyeshadow in here so we're just gonna put some on the lid i've been thinking about doing the lash lift kit from amazon which i did a couple times in college and it went fine i would say it went well actually but honestly it's just an ordeal like once you get one eye done then you have to do the other and on yourself that's hard you got one eye open one's taped down it's just time consuming. If you have a friend and you can like do each other's, it's fun. But I'm also not encouraging you guys to go blind or put perm solution in your eyeballs. Hourglass mascara. I've loved this for a long time. It's a tubing mascara. So when you go to take it off, it comes off easily. And that's my favorite part about it. I hate whenever mascara gets all over your face when you're washing your face or if it smudges under your eyes. Hate that. Okay, try not to go overboard on the mascara. I want to try brown mascara. I can't believe I haven't yet. Oh, I forgot. We're in the realm of like glowy sticks and eye creams. Tula's Glow Balm. I really like this stuff. It just feels really good. I didn't use it, but it feels really like cooling under your eyes. I have one in the car and that is nice. It's cold for me and outside. And if you're kind of like sleepy sleep. Anyway, I had been using a Anastasia brow pen to fill in my brows, but I'm back to my brow pencil game. I use soap to mold my eyebrows. This is pear soap, y'all. I got this in a two pack with my friend in college, uh, junior year. I'm still using it. And that was 2018 or 19. I don't really do the insane soap brows. I do like them to be defined and brushed up though. I'll never forget when I was in Vegas with my husband. Now husband at the time we were about to be engaged and his mom was like, your eyebrows sticking up. And I was like, oh shit. Knowing that I had brushed it up and glued it down that way. And then I had to act like I was trying to put it back. Anyway, okay, so this is from Maybelline Brow Tattoo Studio or whatever the frick. Color is soft brown. I don't know what's going on over here. The gap right there. And I plucked the whole freaking tail of this one off. And honestly, I would say on accident, but I low key did it on purpose. I was like, this is gonna look good. Like, I'm gonna have a facelift after this. And it just kind of looks fucked but i like this i'll probably keep buying this for the rest of my life <laughs> as long as i make it i like this color for me too last part of our program is lips usually whatever lip liner i grab first is what wins so this is nyx in the color mauve my lips look a little crusty right now and i don't overline i just try to fill in the like actual outline of my lips just so they look like done but not overdone throw some chapstick on because i kind of was giving crusty and then this is from essence just a clear gloss i like it fine i also really like the sephora clear gloss i'm almost out it's in my purse but actually i want more blush after further consideration i'm gonna try not to blend this too much okay there we go okay so i tried on this sweater from the great it's giving shrunk look at the sleeve length and these are the a goldie jeans and i don't like them i don't like what's going on i don't like the anything I don't like how this feels. I feel, I don't feel great. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not cute. I mean, if these were like a little bit lower, yes, but they don't want to sit, not even yes. Just like better. I don't know. They like want to sit a little higher, but then they gap. I don't like it. I find the maxi skirt cute, not with this sweater. I like that it goes to the floor. Good solid length. I could even wear it with a boot with a little bit of heel and you wouldn't see a ton of my foot. This I like. I don't know how I'd wear it. Ow. Not like this, that's for sure. Belly button needs to go away. <laughs> I have a navy blue turtleneck. Colors aren't the exact same and this kind of looks weird, so. <laughs> I'm kind of looking spooky right now. Okay, this is honestly the only thing I could really come up with. I have it on with my Golden Gooses, which I just showed on TikTok the other day. Um, I got these on Poshmark. Cheetah. The hat is from the Ralph Lauren outlet, but it has the same blue. It's kind of like a pretty vibrant blue. Like I wouldn't say that I'm like, oh yeah, this is cute. Like I want to take it off. I don't think this skirt is for me. Something about the way that it hangs makes it look less casual than I want to style it. So, I mean, if you're wearing this in a dressier way, yes, but anyway. 
Like I said, I knew I was gonna end up wearing this little jacket again. This is an old turtleneck from Zara. And then these are Zara's marine straight jeans. And I'm wearing the golden goose. I think, probably just keep them on because I already have them on my feet. Smudges on the mirror from whenever I hold Albert up to see himself. <laughs> keep taking all my jewelry off in the kitchen. So my headband was out here. Well, let's fix my part. My headband was out here from whenever I had this on the last time. I might wear this charm necklace from Heart Jewelry. Job Heart is their Instagram tag. Let's see if it looks cute or if it's too much. I like this one because of the chain. It's the Belcher chain. Like I can hook this through any of the chain links so I can Short it if I want. I think it's 18 inches long at its longest. How's that look? Bruh, I can't find any earrings. I put my rings on. I need to run an errand that I really don't want to do because I'm just anxious about it and I'm gonna explain it once I find some freaking earrings. All right, ditch the necklace. It looked stupid dumb and these earrings are from Kendra Scott. Okay, so the errand in question, let's back up. A few months ago, I got a skirted dressing table at Habitat for Humanity. I will insert a picture. I was like, okay, cool. I'll reskirt that myself, slay, period. I have bought three different fabrics on Facebook Market that I'm like, oh, this would be so cute in the dressing room. Two of them, I'm like, it's not gonna work. The third one, I'm like, okay, cool. It's this like faux silk taffeta, but it's poly, so it's plastic. <laughs> but it's pink and shiny and I like it. And it's very feminine and I'm like, oh, that would look so cute gathered up on the base of the vanity and on the Romans. I wanna do like, uh, I think it's a tulip style Roman. I don't honestly know what it's called. I think tulip. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh, hang on. So usually I use heat bond instead of sewing because I don't have a sewing machine. And I can sew by hand, but it's tedious and it's not beautiful. My stitches aren't great. So I need to sew pleat tape onto pink fabric to make the vanity skirt. Okay, well I can't use my heat bond because A, the fabric is garbage. Um, it's not bad, but it's not great quality, so it'll burn, it's plastic. Okay, so I could use regular bonding tape stuff, but once I draw the pleats up, won't it come unattached? You know what I mean? Like I need to just stitch it on there with a the sewing machine, but I don't have a sewing machine. But it's not just that because I also have to cut them and hem them. And then I have, I have to sew two of them together on each side to make it wide enough. The issue is I am thinking I want to just go to a tailor and explain this to them, but it's so dumb and so like pieced together that they're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like really, they're going to be like, this is junk. Like this is junk. -o. So basically I'm like, can I try and do this myself? And I just really want it done because there's a dresser in my closet room. If I move the dresser out and then I get this vanity skirt on, I can move the vanity where it's supposed to go and kind of assemble sort of, you know, start slowly and getting myself to the place of having that room done. And I really don't want to go to a tailor and have to explain this. Anyway, I think this sweater's really cute under here because I like how the sleeves so have like a little bit of detail. I don't know about the headband. It's the only part that's throwing me. I don't know. Oh. Don't look at that. I think I like this little, I'm so sorry. I'm really so sorry, I should have never done that shit to you. I, I think I like this little dog, this little dog, yes. Oh my God. I've been contemplating making Albert his own account, but I don't know, I don't think, baby doesn't need to work like that, you know what I mean? I don't want to put him to work. Ignore the freaking hangers and recyclables back there. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. This has been a lot of fun. I'm really excited to get back into YouTube. So I hope that you're watching vlogs. Let me know who you guys watch on YouTube. I want to watch more vlogs. Right now I'm only watching MLM commentary. Also um, like fundy snark commentary and Mormonism videos. So. <laughs> That's very interesting to me. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Yeah, I know we didn't leave the house one time. Sometimes I do. You'll just have to wait and stay tuned <laughs> to see proof. <laughs>